Hi there, music fans. Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Stephen, and today I'll be talking about my initial reaction to Paul Rogers' album, Midnight Rose. This is his first album of new material in over 25 years. The album was produced by Bob Rock and longtime partner Cynthia Rogers. It consists of eight tracks. It's Coming Home, Photo Shooter, Midnight Rose, Living It Up, Dance in the Sun, Take Love, Highway Robber, and Melting. This is the album itself. I finally got it from Amazon. It took a little while. We've got a nice little booklet in here. Um, I had to. I, I was waiting for the album over the weekend. Was hoping to get it and have a lot more time, but uh, there were problems with Amazon and I couldn't get it right away. So it finally came today. I listened to it very quickly. My initial reaction is this: Paul Rogers has nothing to prove anymore. Being, you know, the voice of Bad Company, Free, uh, The Firm, and even Queen for a while. And then there's a side project, a little project of one album called The Law, another underrated thing. I've, re I've reviewed it here. If you haven't seen it, please take a look. Great album. Again, the star of the album is his voice. He is unparalleled. He is one of the masters. He's been put on this planet to sing. And he doesn't disappoint here. Um, I really like the album opener, Coming Home, a great little bluesy number. I like uh, Living It Up, which was one of the singles, kind of bad company, rock style, style. Take Love is another good rocker, and Melting, another good rocker that ends off the album. I'll have to listen to it a couple more times to get to the other songs, but these are the four that I like best. Like I said, Coming Home, Living It Up, Take Love, and Melting are my favorites so far. So, so far after one listen, half the album I really love. So that says a lot for it. Like I said, but again, his voice is the star. He has nothing left to prove that he comes out with some stuff that Bob Rock and Cynthia have found a way to really capture the strong points of his voice. Acoustic rocker, blues rock, you know, mid-tempos. They found the right tracks for him. I, you know, I, I wish there were a couple of more. I wish there would have been ten or twelve tracks. I mean, after twenty-five years, you know, I'll, I'll never know why. But hopefully, this re reinvigorates him to release more material. I'm sure he's after twenty-five. He's got a couple of more songs somewhere in the vault, and he's going to put them out. I'm hoping this reinvigorates him to put out more material because a voice like this should be heard. He needs to put out more product, and I really hope he does. Overall, I'm going to say it's a great album. Loving it so far. But again, like I said, it's only one listen. But from what I heard, put a smile on my face, and, I, and I'm moving around. And, you know, So I highly recommend, if you like Bad Company, Free, The Firm, if you remember The Law, I don't think you could go wrong with one of the voices He's unparalleled. He's what a lot of singers strive to be. And a lot of them just won't make it to this level. There are very, they're far and few between that have this kind of range and this kind of power. There's like Freddie Mercury, him, Lou Graham, you know, Steve Perry. These are the guys that, that, that are the main, you know, Glenn Hughes probably are the guys who I think are some of the best singers, and he's up there. He's up in the upper echelon. He's untouchable, in my opinion. And um, to have him come back after after 25 years with a solid set of songs is a great, great day for music fans and a great day for me. Again, I'm happy. I'm happy like you will not believe. So I highly recommend that if you do like rock and roll and you do like Bad Company or The Firm, the Law, or even his stint in Queen, underrated stint, a lot of people don't like it, I did. I think if you like Paul Rogers in general, you can't go wrong with this release. Great release from a phenomenal, phenomenal talent. And I hope we get more. I hope there's one more album in him. If it's half as good as this, I'm a happy camper. So, But you let me know what you think of this. Have you heard it? Do you like any of the tracks? Do you have any favorites? Love to hear from you. So this is Stephen from the Roundtable asking you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. So this is for me saying two thumbs up for Mr. Rogers' unparalleled voice. He's back and he put a smile on my face. So see you soon, guys.